hello and welcome to my youtube channel Camvis. in this video we are going to learn tautomerism isomers which are interconvertible by just change in the position of hydrogen atom and pi bond are called tautomers and the phenomenon is known as tautomerism let's have a hypothetical molecule h x y double bond z shifting a proton from x to z accompanied by delocalization of pi bond like this produces another species x double bond y single bond z single bond h these two species are in equilibrium which are known as tautomers. The equilibrium arrows shown between these two tautomers are of the same length which is used when both the tautomers have the same stability. This is not a real case scenario. Generally, one tautomer is more stable than other. In that case, the arrow in the direction of more stable tautomer is longer than the arrow in the direction of less stable one. Thus, if left side tautomer is more stable than right side tautomer, then the arrow in the left side direction will be longer than the arrow in the right side direction. If the right side tautomer is more stable than the left, then the equilibrium arrow will be like this, where the arrow in the right side direction is longer than the arrow in the left side direction. Now, let's go through examples. The first is ketoenal tautomerism. In this the first example we are going to take is acetone. This is the keto form of acetone. It has enolizable alpha hydrogen. The relocation of alpha hydrogen like this will give enol form. Since keto form is more stable than enol, so, the equilibrium arrow will be like this. Second example is acetyl acetone, the keto form of which can be drawn like as. These are two more acidic hydrogens. Relocation of one of them like this gives enol form which is stabilized by intramolecular hydrogen bond. This intramolecular hydrogen bond makes enol form more stable than keto. So, the equilibrium arrow will be like this. Third example is phenol and keto form of which can be drawn like this. Enolization like this will give enol form. Here we can see that the keto form is non-aromatic while enol is aromatic. This makes enol form very stable and because of that it mainly exists in enol form and therefore the equilibrium arrow can be drawn like this. Second example of tautomerism is amide iminol, also called amide imidic acid tautomerism. Here I am taking the example of N methyl acetamide. This is amide form. Relocation of proton from nitrogen to oxygen and change in the position of pi bond like this gives imenol form. Amide form 
is more stable than iminal so the reversible arrow will be like this third example is lactam lactim tautomerism we know that lactams are cyclic amides this is a general structure of a lactam relocation of hydrogen will give lactim since lactam is more stable than lactim so the equilibrium arrow will be like this imine enamine tautomerism imine is a compound formed by the reaction between a primary amine and an aldehyde or ketone it has a double bond between nitrogen and carbon relocation of alpha hydrogen from carbon to nitrogen gives tautomer enamine in general imine is more stable than enamine nitrosooxime tautomerism a nitroso compound with at least one alpha hydrogen can undergo delocalization of alpha proton to oxygen to produce oxime here oxime is more stable than nitroso nitro nitronic acid tautomerism nitro alkanes with at least one alpha hydrogen undergo proton shift to produce nitronic acid tautomer here nitro tautomer is more stable than nitronic acid annular tautomerism in this type of tautomerism the movement of labile proton is restricted to the ring atoms for example 3 methyl 1h pyrazole and 5 methyl 1h pyrazole are annular tautomers another example is purine which has four tautomers 9h 7h 1h and 3h out of these four 9h and 7h are the predominant tautomers ring chain tautomerism in this tautomerism delocalization of proton is accompanied by conversion of acyclic isomer to cyclic one and vice versa for example this is open chain form of d glucose which is less than 0.2% in solution it undergoes cyclization and proton shift like this to produce 36% alpha d glucopyranose and 64% beta d beta d glucopyranose these interconversion between open chain form and alpha d glucopyranose and open chain form and beta d glucopyranose are the example of ring chain tautomerism the last tautomerism which we are going to discuss is valence tautomerism by definition it is different from what we have discussed so far about tautomerism we have learned so far that in tautomerism there is movement of proton from one atom to another but in valence tautomerism single and double bonds are continuously formed and broken in the compound without any migration of atoms or groups for example tautomerism between benzene oxide and oxyphene benzene oxide undergoes electrocyclic ring opening like this to produce oxypene oxypene undergoes electrocyclic ring closing to produce benzene oxide thus these two compounds exist in equilibrium and act as an example of valence tautomerism second example is homotropylidene it undergoes 
scope rearrangement like this to produce equivalent structure. If there is substitution, then the two structures will be different compounds. For example, if the 2-methylene hydrogen of 3-membered ring in the left side compound are replaced by deuterium, then the right side compound will have deuterated methylene group in the 7-membered ring. Thus, we can see that these two tautomers are different compounds. The third and more interesting example of such type is bulvaline. This is the structure of bulvaline. For better understanding, label all the carbon atoms as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Here, we can see that carbon 4, 5 and 10 are the part of cyclopropane ring. If it undergoes co-prearrangement like this, it will give this equivalent structure in which carbon 1, 2 and 7 are the part of cyclopropane ring. But this molecule could have also undergone such rearrangement to produce cyclopropyl ring at 178 or 128 etc. Any of these could then undergo several co-prearrangements. So, the number of valence tautomer in this case will be factorial 10 upon 3. That will be 1 million 209,600. Proton NMR of bulvaline at 10 degrees centigrade shows only one signal at 4.22 ppm suggesting a fractional nature of the molecule. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.